Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I want to show you guys some of the best and quick settings on MSI Afterburner so we can possibly get the best performance from the GPU and have a smooth gaming experience. But not only that, we will also see how to monitor the performance of the GPU and the system with Riva Turner Statistic Monitor which is included in Afterburner. This guide will be divided in three parts, so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Let's start with the first part. Okay, first thing first, let's download and install MSI Afterburner. I will leave the link in the description down below. One of the most important things while you are installing it is to click on Install also Riva Tuner Statistics Server. So we can monitor in-game performances like frame rates, FPS, temps and so on. Once finished installing, let's open MSI Afterburner. You'll see the default skin which personally I don't like that much and to me seems a little bit confusing. But anyway, you can leave it as it is. Or if you want to change it, you can click here, then move to the user interface and choose one of those skins. If you want to see a preview of this, you can click on the skin here and you can see it down here. I prefer to use the MSI Cyborg Afterburner skin white, this one. Just select it and click OK. I prefer this one because it has all the information in one place and it is easy to have an overview of all you need the most. Ok, now let's check what we have here on the main window. Here we have the GPU clock, the actual GPU clock. Here we have the memory clock. If we press this icon here, it will bring up the included benchmark. This icon here will open the website of the MSI Afterburner. If we click here, it will bring up some information of the system, like the CPU, the GPU model, the drivers, and so on. Here on the middle part we have some sliders. The first one is related to the core voltage, which I recommend to don't touch it at the moment. This is the power limit, if you want to limit the power of the GPU, which I recommend to leave it at the moment as it is. This slider here is linked also with the temperature limit. Here you can choose to prioritize the power limit or the temperature limit. Here we have the slider related, related to the core clock if you want to overclock. And here we have the slider related to the memory clock if you also want to overclock the memory. And this is the fan speed. Also here we have this icon here which means that if you have a graphic card with more with more than one fan you can we can choose the speed of each of them. I just recommend it to leave it linked so they can spin with the same speed. This icon here will bring up the setting menu. This will reset everything at the default and this is for applying whatever settings you are choosing to modify. If you press this icon here it will apply the core voltage, the temperature limit, the core clock and the memory clock on Windows startup which I recommend to don't do it at the moment. Here we have the model of the graphic card, the driver version and the profiles. And here we have some hardware monitor so you can scroll down and see or you can just click on detach and it will bring up this window so you can see all the information related to the hardware which most of them we don't really need. Okay, let's go quickly into some menu settings. In the first tab we have some general properties like start with windows, start minimized which I recommend to enable both of them. All this should be enabled by default. The only thing that is not enabled is unlock voltage control which I recommend to enable it and then select extended MSI. Also force content voltage is, is going to be useful for us. Here you can check for some updates. Now let's move on the second tab, the fan tab. This is one of the most important settings in MSI because it will allow us to manage the fan curve which means temps and GPU performance. For now click on enable user defined software and then leave it on default. On the third tab we have some monitoring features which are related to the Riva Tuner statistics that we previously installed. The monitoring once enabled will show us some useful info like temps, CPU usage, frame rates, memory usage and so on. So we can enable all the sensors by just clicking here then scrolling down and clicking show in on screen display. You can change the order of all these sensors by simply drag and dropping them in the order you prefer the most. Okay let's move on on screen display tab. Here we can choose to assign the hotkeys to each of these. I prefer to use the toggle on screen display because uh, I press once for example in this case I choose the 
have 11. You can change all these keys by just clicking on, on the box and then typing the key that you want to use. In this case, I just set up the toggle on screen display. So I press once F11 and it will bring up the on screen statistics. Then I press it again and it will close the on screen statistics. Here, if, we, if you want to um, assign some hotkeys to the frame rate statistics, which I don't use here, if you want to make a screenshot of the benchmark on the video capture tab we have we can choose if we want to capture a video of the benchmark which i don't use it because i usually use obs for that here we have the profile hotkeys so you can assign a key to each profile i choose from f1 to f5 and here we have the user interface which you can change the language the temperature format in celsius on fahrenheit the time format and also the skin as we were seeing at the beginning here you can choose also the skin scaling depending on your monitor for example i have a a 32 inch 4k so i choose the maximum scaling otherwise the window of the um, msi afterburner would be small and i cannot see properly so once you finish customize everything you can just simply click ok and it will apply all these settings if you want to simply have a clock you can press the oc scanner which is going to open the scan window you can click on scan and the program will scan the capability of your gpu to be overclocked you can check the time in the left corner but generally it will take up to 20 or even half an hour to finish so here we can see the results and msi afterburner will apply it automatically you can save it also in one of these profiles for example let's say we want to save this here we'll just click on this icon here and we choose one of the numbers here i will choose the number five and that's it this is the safest way to overclock your gpu and squeeze a little bit more performance but honestly i wouldn't recommend it because it will increase the consumption at the temperatures including the voltage on the car and that isn't exactly the best thing if you care about the lifetime of, of your gpu okay guys that was all for the first video we went through some simple settings and a simple oc in the next video we will see overclocking and also undervolting so stay tuned subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications in case you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications thanks for watching and see you in the next one